Water, man. Jeez, bro. You people like take my water now. That's what you guys do. You guys take my water. You take my water. My water. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Nick from the Foot Market. Welcome back to another review on the channel. Welcome back, guys. Um, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be reviewing Foodies Condogbia. Crazy, crazy looking weekly objective. Crazy looking card. Um, so. Therefore, you're getting a review. Yes, you are. You are getting a review today. Um, he, it looks like very a very good card. Now, we're, we're actually going to put him in the team that it takes to get the weekly objective, which is the 11. Uh, basically, to get this card, guys, you have to go into the weekly objectives and you have to score in three separate rivals matches using a full first owner La Liga team. Um, so it's kind of a cool concept. You have to do that in three separate games. You could have to score a goal. For a full first owner means you have to have them pack pulled things like that. Um, now, this is going to be interesting because I just recently reviewed Savage, and he is insane. Um, so this is going to be interesting to review, guys, just for the fact that I don't I don't really know what to expect. Um, Savage was the player that I obviously just did on the channel, and he was ridiculous. Um, so we'll have these guys in here. Well, let's look at Kondogbia first of all. Let's talk about the card. 85 pace, 87 shooting, um, 93 def dribbling, 94 defending, 98 physical, 92 passing, just a mental looking card. Um, he's got a two star weefo, which is not great. He's also high medium, which is going to just be something to keep in mind. Um, six foot two, four star skills is what he offers. So he does have the ability to do La Croqueta um, in this game. He's got 80 acceleration, 80 sprint, 88 sprint speed, 82 finishing, 99 shot power, 95 long shots, 89 agility, 98 reactions, 99 short passing, 96 long passing, 91 dribbling, 96 composure. Alongside 95 interceptions, 84 heading accuracy, 92 marking, 96 hand tackling. So the defensive and physical stats are insane. I really don't think you need to boost many of those. I just think for me on this card, I'd probably use an engine. Some of the stats that I think are just mental uh, with this card is the is the 96 composure. Like that is such a unique stat for me. Um, I really like that. And then I love that his short passing ability is at 99. I think as a box-to-box -box center mid or a CDM, he's fantastic. Would not play him any further up the field or the pitch on your team than an actual center mid. So wouldn't really go past a 4-2-3-1 CDM um, or wouldn't really go past a 4-1-2 in center or left to right center. Well, you'd play him probably probably left center mid. I would play him for the cross goal shots. The thing is, guys, like you can't really play this card at cam just because he got the two-star weak foot. He's just going to feel too clunky. Um, now, the cam style that I'm going to put on him today, we're going to go with an engine chemistry style. Uh, that, for me, would be the best fit for him and what I want out of him. So his defensive and his physical stats for me are already good enough. Um, with the engine chemistry style, what we're going to receive is we're going to get the plus five on the agility, the plus 10 balance, um, and then the plus five acceleration and the plus five sprint speed, which is, which is pretty solid. Um, we don't really need a passing boost, but I guess he gets the vision boost. We just want the bounce to go to 88. I think with you guys know the way you guys play this game this year and FIFA 19 in general, you kind of just want to get players that will feel as good as possible no matter what the state of the gameplay. And that's kind of what we're after today. We're trying to get this guy to feel as good as possible, um, regardless of the gameplay, regardless of any of that. That's kind of what we're what we're striving for here. So also in terms of links, um, you know, La Liga links, and then not too many nationality links. So we're going to go with a 4 one 2 and 2 narrow, guys. We're going to set that thing up. Attacking play style, press after possession lost. And then we will play... God, it's going to be crazy here. I think we're going to end up playing... Um, we're going to play Was at CDM. I'm going to play Kondogbi at left center mid. We're actually going to try something that may actually make you guys uh, interested. We're going to play Suarez at center mid. Now, Suarez has physical stats that are good enough, in my opinion, to play center mid. So that's why we're going to play him there. Play Kondogbi at the left center mid. Hazard, we will play at Cam. Bale will play at right striker. I'm almost thinking about playing Bale at the left striker. We'll play Bale. Now, you know what, guys? We're going to play Bale at... We're going to do this. I don't really take first-time shots much. So we're going to have Bale and Felix on getting behind. Hazard will have Cam. Normal uh, normal, normal things for Hazard aside from stay forward, which I do like to play on some cams. It depends on the player. But Hazard, I would like to stay forward. And then, yeah, Kondogbi is literally just going to have balanced everything. I'm going to have him on cover wing. I'm not going to touch the cover center. I'm going to let him do his thing. And then hopefully the fullbacks. We want the fullbacks to be overlapping. Uh, something that we do want. We want the fullbacks to be overlapping. What am I looking for? What am I looking in, in today's review um, in a card like Kondogbia? I'm basically looking to play a game or two. Figure out for you guys, is this card good enough? Is it clunky? I also want to compare him to Savage because Savage was a card that was just released. And although they are in different leagues, they are very hard to link. So you're, odds are you're going to go for one of the two. Um, because one's Serie A, one's La Liga, but they have nationalities that aren't the easiest to link in FIFA. So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're going to be playing Foot Champions. 
Uh, I love doing these reviews in Foot Champions. I think it's the best way to do it. I'm not a huge fan of Division Rivals, but it's kind of all we got in the week, so we kind of have to rock out with that. No super subs, none of that. Um, and then in terms of ELO, if you guys are wondering, we're 2-0 uh, in Foot Champs. We're 2-0, so I don't know if that... If you guys had a question about the ELO, that's the state of the ELO. So that's where we're at in terms of that. And then, uh, yeah, boys, here we go. Um, here we go. Here we go. 4 3 3 3 um, Richarlison and Dombele. Red Pepe is a very good card. He's got the Van, Van Dyke Player of the Year. And then he's playing Lloris in goal. Um, Bisaka and Mendy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this team. It doesn't... I don't know. Hazard. Attacking well here. Wow. Holy moly. I wasn't expecting that. So that was a scenario where he does have that poor weak foot. You got to get back on the strong foot there to get the shot off. He might... I, now, I took a normal shot, but the shot almost came off as a finesse shot. I think you guys will be able to see it. It kind of was curving a bit. Sometimes they do that automatically. Does he have finesse shot trade is what I'm trying to check on right now. He has finesse shot trade. I was like, I was so surprised by that. He has finesse shot trade. So we get a, we get an early goal, guys. Um, very, very unexpected early goal. I wasn't even expecting to score with him in today's video, but we will take it. He got beat pretty easy there on a corner, but nobody at the end of the day this year in foot can really kind of defend against Virgil van Dijk. He got beat again, so maybe that's a liability. I don't know. It's not. Corners are really random. I don't really know what to do on corners, so I'm not going to blame that on Kondogbia. Just unlucky. Space to get the cross in. Switch of emphasis going inside. Oh! I don't even know why that came across as a red. That's also the second time I think I've ever done crocodiles ever in FIFA. Um, I did two crocodiles there, and it was extremely explosive, and he went crazy. So okay. Feels good. He does not feel clunky. His the pulling off the skills, and everything like that, feels really good. Important, you know. In this attack, and it looks dangerous. Great pass, man. This guy has good passing ability, huh? Get in. Let's go, Bale. Let's go, Bale. I think we're going to get a race crew real quick. This card is really good, guys. I like his ability to go forward. His ability going forward, he does feel faster. Um, a little bit faster for me than... Um, I don't know. A little bit faster for me than maybe Savage going forward. He's got that really, really quick boost of pace, which is like... It must be down to the high agility. With the acceleration, it must be a combination of the two. That's game number one. We've already got a W, and we'll go for another. All right, guys. So the next game, uh, it's just a full League One team. Interesting that I don't know why he's using Pepe on the right. Like, why is he doing that? Just move. And here is the lineup for them today. I think that back. He can put them in wow. Front. We take a. Uh, it's a great start for them. We take an early concede. Goal. And we'll now have to see whether that will change. Both managers with some good control build up. Azar. Condog beer. Azar. Slip past his marker. Bale. Great agility in the box. We hold on to it. Oh. Luis Suarez. Azar. Great wide pass. Get in. Get in. Shoot. Why is he not shooting? He didn't read my button command. That should be a goal. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Well, there's one for him to chase in behind. Shots on here. Well, they've got a corner. He's put in the corner. Wow, we're down 2 0, boys. It's an own goal. It's a Cavani. Condog Beer. Gareth Bale. Thiago Mendes. Delicately played through by Di Maria. Guys, I'm losing 3 0 right now. I don't have to tell you guys. Bale to take them on now. 
Trying to get the ball in behind. Get in. How's that a post, man? This is why I'm down 3-0. Trying to score with a one touch. Well, in hindsight, you know, I think the move and able to cut out the pass. Well, it's going to be three minutes added on. Hazard. Bale. Bamba. Great defending from Condogbia. Love to see that. Get in. Let's go, boys. All right, 3-1. We got two goals. We got to we got to give it a big comeback in the second half. Come on, boys. Eden Hazard came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. It goes out wide again. Angel Di Maria is the target. Dog, the cross. this guy's team is playing insane. I don't even know. E everything this guy touches ma touches his magic. I'm still able to get a good review of Kondogbian, but like, look at this, bro. I I think maybe it's a keeper. I'm using a I'm using a man of the match keeper, and he's just he's, he's not good. I think those guys have four shots and four goals. Oh, that is so unlucky. Great run. Oh, that's a heavy touch. I don't like that. Heavy touch. <laughs> Get in. Oh, he misses the green. Damn. Right, so honestly, this card is really good. I think he is. I know I just got smacked. Finishing is not going to be as good as Savage, but as Savage, but I do feel like his movement and his on the ball ability is really good. If you do use La Croqueta, I don't use La Croqueta, but it's OP as hell with this card. And something to keep in mind is that he does have the finesse shot trait. That's going to be something that you got to keep in the back of your head when you play with this card. He's got that finesse shot trait, which is valuable um, in my eyes. It's a valuable trait. So. Definitely something that you would not want to, uh, you know, forget about too much. I like him. I think he's worth grinding. I think it's not that hard to grind him. I think the first owner team, you just got to score in each game. Um, and it's worthwhile getting. He, I did not try him in a CDM role. In a CDM role, he could be really, really good. Um, that's something that I want you guys to understand. In a CDM role, this guy could be a pretty good card. Um, you just make sure if you are playing him in a CDM role, you got to play him with a medium high player. You can't just play him with another high medium or high high. It's got to be with a medium high because he's high medium. When somebody's high medium, they're going to make more forward runs. Appreciate you guys tuning into the video today. Much love, guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.